Hello, and welcome back to Off Grid Style. I'm Nikki. I hope you all are having a good day. Today we're discussing the best 10 states to homestead in. Now we've done a 10 best and worst states to live off grid in, but this is slightly different. This is homesteading. And I think you're going to be a little bit surprised at some of the uh, states that are listed in this particular grouping of homestead as opposed to off grid. So let's get started and see what's on the list. Let's take a look at the top 10 states for homesteading, why these places are ideal. Homesteading, the practice of self-sufficiency and sustainable living, has seen a resurgence in recent years as people seek a simpler, more connected lifestyle. Choosing the right location for homesteading is crucial as it directly impacts the success of your self-sufficient endeavors. We are going to look at the top 10 states for homesteading and the reasons why they are considered ideal for those pursuing this lifestyle. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting. Thank you. First, let's talk about a short introduction to homesteading. Homesteading is a way of life that emphasizes self-reliance, sustainability, and a deep connection to the land. Individuals and families who embrace homesteading often grow their own food, raise livestock, and generate their own energy, aiming to reduce their reliance on external systems. Next, let's look at the criteria for selecting the top 10 states to homestead in. Selecting the top 10 states for homesteading involves considering various factors, including the climate, soil quality, water availability, land affordability, and supportive local communities. The following states excel in these areas. First up, we have Alaska. Alaska tops the list due to its vast, untamed wilderness and low population density. The state offers abundant natural resources, including pristine water sources and fertile land, making it an ideal place for homesteading. But keep in mind, the extreme climate and remoteness can pose challenges. Next is Idaho. Idaho boasts rich soil, ample water, and a relatively low cost of living. Its diverse geography provides opportunities for different types of homesteading, from agriculture in the south to off-grid living in the rugged north. Now we'll take a look at Montana. Montana's wide open spaces and favorable land prices make it attractive for homesteaders. This state's agricultural potential, including livestock and crop farming, is significant. Oregon is next on our list. Oregon offers a mild climate in many of its regions, making it suitable for year-round gardening. Access to abundant natural resources and a culture of sustainability make Oregon a haven for homesteaders. And now we have Vermont. Vermont's commitment to organic farming and sustainability aligns well with homesteading principles. The state's fertile land and supportive communities make it an appealing choice. And now let's discuss Maine for homesteading. Maine's diverse landscapes, rugged coastlines, and fertile soils provide a range of opportunities for homesteaders. The state's commitment to environmental conservation is another plus. And New Hampshire also makes our list. New Hampshire's live free or die spirit resonates with homesteaders seeking self-sufficiency. Its beautiful landscapes and proximity to major urban centers offer the best of both worlds. Tennessee is another great state on our top 10 states for homesteading. Tennessee's moderate climate and fertile soil make it a prime location for homesteading. The state's friendly communities and affordability add to its appeal. Missouri 
Missouri's central location and varied geography provide homesteaders with diverse opportunities from livestock farming to crop cultivation. This state's affordability is also noteworthy. And we have North Carolina. North Carolina combines a temperate climate with a diverse range of ecosystems. The state's focus on sustainable agriculture and local food production makes it an attractive choice for homesteaders. And just a reminder, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you. Obviously, choosing the right state for homesteading is a crucial step toward achieving a self-sufficient and sustainable lifestyle. Well, this was cool and interesting, and I found it very interesting that a lot of the states named were completely different from the 10 best off-grid states. So that was kind of interesting. I guess it depends on what you're looking for. Do you truly want to go off-grid, or are you looking to homestead? Because they are two different things, as I'm sure all of you know. So let me know what your thoughts were. I always love to hear from you, as you know. Please like, subscribe, comment, do all those great things, say hello, and I'll see you all again soon.